Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I am Eric and today I'm going to be talking to you about another product from one of my favorite Chinese manufacturers, Xiaomi. This is the Xiaomi Xiaoyi camera, also known as the Ants camera. Why Ants? I don't know. That's just what they seem to call it. Um, it is a Wi-Fi camera that you can use for surveillance, you can use it for as a baby monitor, baby cam, you can use it uh, to talk to friends and family or maybe if you have a, a parent, an older parent who's far away and maybe can't use a cell phone really well to do video uh, talking or computer, you could set this up for that. Really, really awesome product. Uh, the frame rate is 20 frames per second. It's an HD wide angle lens, so it captures uh, a, a large space, and you'll see that in a little bit. It has a f2.0 aperture. Uh, it does come with a micro SD card slot for uh, recording pictures and or video. It also has a mic on there for two-way communication, a mic and a speaker. And it is equipped with infrared night vision. This is the night vision version, and I'll be demoing that for you as well. Really awesome. You can see even when there's no lights and it's completely dark. Um, and it also has motion detection. Uh, a lot of really, really cool features. Uh, like I said, really competes with high-end uh, uh, Wi-Fi cameras that cost anywhere from 60 to 150 bucks. This one you can pick up for probably between 30 and $40, uh, more or less in that range. Uh, now I got this from GearBest. GearBest.com is a, a website that works with Chinese manufacturers to provide a lot of Chinese products direct to uh, you, the US and the world. So of course I have a link in the description to that website and to this product so you can check it out over there. Um, but real quick, let's jump over to a quick unboxing just so you can see exactly how the camera comes packaged in the box and what it comes with. It's just going to be a quick unboxing of the Xiaomi Xiaoyi IR night vision camera. You can see the Yi on the box there. Um, got some Chinese writing on the back, of course, and I pre-cut this plastic just so it would be easier for us to take off for this. So, let's open the box and see what is inside here. And there it is. The Yi camera. You can see it's got that cover on it. It's a nice packaging. Opens up there. And this is the camera itself. Folds up. Tells you what you need to do. It's got rubber base. Place for your micro SD card, I think. Let's see what else is in the box here. Let's open this up. You've got uh, looks like a power cord in here. Yep. It's got your micro USB power cord. Of course, you could use any micro USB power cord. And uh, instructions, of course, they are all in Chinese. We will translate, would probably come in handy with that. And let's see, I think there is something else. Yeah, and here is the power supply. Up. And you've got your power supply to plug that power into, and you can see it's wrapped as well in clear plastic, so it arrives nice and clean. Um, but that is what comes uh, in the box and how it comes packaged. So that is it for the unboxing. So you can see, it comes with everything you need in the box, packaged very nice. Like I said, Xiaomi is my one of my favorite Chinese manufacturers. Uh, they're kind of known as the Apple of China. Um, and that's because they put out really, really 
great products, high quality products. Uh, now, of course, I've talked a lot about this, but you probably want to see it in action. So uh, let's jump over and I'm going to show you me setting it up so you can see how easy it is to set this thing up on your Wi-Fi. Okay, so here we are on my phone. We are going to uh, connect the Xiao, uh, Mi, Xiao Yi, also known as the Ant camera. Uh, for the first time. This is the Yi Home app which I got by scanning the QR code that is in the instructions and that took me right to the website so that I could download that app. So let's open it up. You'll see there is some Chinese but once you get into the app uh, if you download the English version then you have English so it's not a problem at all. So I'm going to click the plus button to add a camera and now I need to plug this in. So let's Plug this into the little micro USB port there. All right, so we're plugged in. We got power. You can see the yellow LED there. And it's telling me to wait. Uh, okay. I'm going to assume that's Chinese and I don't have Google Translate running right now, so I'm going to assume it's saying waiting to connect. Let's see. You can do Wi Fi or you can do QR code. Let's do QR code. Um, connected to Wi Fi. Please enter the password. So let me enter that. All right, so I have uh, entered the password and it's telling me uh, to position the phone towards the camera and scan the QR code. So let's do that. And it says on the app, wait 20 seconds until you hear waiting to connect. And it shows you that the light should be flashing and that's when you know it's ready. So we're going to wait. Okay, I don't speak that language, but it is flashing. So that tells me that it's ready to connect. So I'm going to say I heard waiting to connect. And then it's going to say, please configure the type. Um, I'm going to try QR code configuration. Now it's telling me to enter the password for my internet. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now it's telling me position your phone towards the camera to scan the QR code. So I'm going to say next, and I'm going to position that, and you can see the, it just switched to blue LED, which I think means it scanned it. So I'm going to say next, and now it's going to try connecting. So it's telling you can insert, insert a micro SD card if you want to save video on that. You can start using me and let's tap here. This is the camera and there you go. Of course you can upgrade the firmware and I'll do that now since there is new firmware. But you can see me back behind here, so obviously it is working. So you can see, fairly easy. Uh, the first time I set it up, I had a problem because I misunderstood what it said. When it said hold the barcode up to the camera, I didn't realize it meant the barcode that was on my phone hold it up to this camera. I thought it was trying to tell me to hold something from this up to my camera. But I figured it out, figured out that I had gotten that wrong and uh, it's easy to set up, even though all the instructions are uh, speaking in Chinese, you know, it's, it's, it's very easy, especially once you've seen my video, you'll know how to do it. Um, but let's see how it works. 
Okay, I got it set up. So then I set it up in my house and uh, I want you to see how the app works and how easy it is to use the app on Wi-Fi or off of Wi-Fi just using my 4G connection um, and also show you the uh, night mode and uh, how awesome that is. So let's jump over and show you how that works. Okay, so here we are on my phone. Uh, I do want to show you that I'm using just data, 4G LTE data. You can see Wi-Fi is turned off. Because um, I want you to see this works not just over Wi-Fi, but also over 4G LTE. I'm going to open the eHome app and skip the little, the little opening page, which you get every time. And this is where you see your cams. You can have multiple cams listed here. Uh, I ha only have the one camera, so that's uh, what you see listed. But if you had five cameras, you could have them all. They'd all just be lined up here. And you can go into any camera you want just by tapping it. And you see it loads. And uh, this is uh, uh, live right now. You can see me right there. Now, one thing that's cool is if you turn your phone, it's hard to do it and keep it in the, you can kind of see in the range because I can't move it much. But as you turn, it shows you views on different sides. Or you can just turn your camera sideways and then you get the whole view at once. And this is wide angle. So this is showing you can see I can see my entire floor from here and you can zoom and pan so that you can see a little bit more clearly uh, but you can when it's fully out you can see you know it's a wide angle lens so you capture everything uh, now right there you can see I have the speaker muted if I you'll hear me echo uh, that gets annoying because it goes through both mics, um, but that's how you can listen in on what's happening. If you hit this, it takes a snapshot. Uh, right now, it's going to take that and save it on my phone. If I had a, a uh, micro SD card in the camera, then it would it would record it onto that. Uh, this is the talk button, so I can press that and talk to the person. Now let's see if you hear. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but it did come out of the speaker. Uh, and so you can have a two-way conversation with somebody, or you can just listen in. But if you, anytime you press that, it's like a walkie-talkie. When you press that, then you speak, and it uh, transfers it to the speaker on the camera, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can also record. If I hit that button, then you can see it's recording again because... I'm on, uh, I don't have a, a micro SD card in the camera. It's recording it to my, uh, just to my phone. Uh, but if you have a micro SD card, then you can record to that. And uh, you can tap that to take away all the buttons and just see a clear picture. And you can see, you see everything that's going on uh, very easily, um, which is awesome. And you can lock the camera over here. Let's go back in here and let's go into settings. Now things are in Chinese, but then they do have symbols, so you can see what it is. Uh, right here is a, the settings symbol, so you go into that and you can see different settings. You can turn the camera off if you want. You can rename the camera. You can go into camera specific settings. The status light that is on the camera, you can turn that off, the little LED. So if you flip that off then there will be no LED indication as to whether it's on or whether it's recording or or sensing something. Image rotation, uh, the lens on the camera does rotate if you need it to uh, for the cord to put the cord on a certain side and if you turn this on then the picture will rotate based on how you rotated the lens which is cool. Uh, the network that's connected to and also updating the firmware. I'm up to date. I did have to do a firmware update and it's easy to do. It's just an over-the-air firmware update if there is an update. Um, also you can have a passcode uh, so if someone wants to uh, log in and view they have to enter that passcode. You can set up activity alerts. Um, basically that's sort of a motion sensor so if the camera senses motion in the room then it will uh, uh, flag an alert and you can have it notify you or just record the alert. Um, which is cool. And you can see the status of the fact that you, I don't have an SD card uh, in there, but if I did it would let me know the status of it. And you can remove the camera if you want to remove it from your uh, settings. And uh, that's about it. That's how it works really good. One thing I do want to show you, this is of course during the day. 
I don't have all the lights in the house on, but there's plenty of light in here. So what about at uh, night? So I'm going to go into my uh, gallery app here. And these are the videos. And you'll see this video right here. This is at night. So this is at night with no lights on in the house. And you can see how well the infrared works. I'm going to push play on that. And so this is the infrared recording. Uh, and you can see, you can see very clearly if anything was in here, anybody was in here, uh, you can see really well. Um, in the back back, and that's way, that's far back there, uh, a little bit less so um, because the infrared uh, lights don't reach quite all the way back there to light that up completely. But if someone, if there was a person back there, you'd be able to see the moving. And in this whole room, which is a huge living room area, you can see clear as day. And that's the infrared. So the night vision uh, does work great as well. Um, overall, the app and the way it works and everything is really, really awesome, as you can see. So you can see this is an awesome product. Uh, I love it. I mean, like I said, anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. Uh, right now it's on sale for like $30 uh, from that website, gearbest.com. And set this up in my house and I can have notification if there's any motion in my house, uh, which I have an alarm system, so I don't necessarily need that, but it's cool to know that's, that happens. If my alarm goes off, I can jump on my phone and look at this and see you know, what's going on. Is there someone in my house or is it a false alarm? I can look, I can check. I can also hear the sounds that are going on. Um, as a baby monitor or again, giving this to a, uh, maybe a, someone who's elderly, uh, you could check in on them and have a two-way conversation with them. You would have your phone and they just have, they just have this set up and you could talk to them. Uh, it could work for that. It's just a really great product. The, the uh, quality of the visuals, very, very good. I love the wide angle lens, how it captures uh, such a huge area uh, really, really well. Great product. Um, I would highly recommend it um, to anyone who's in the market for something like this. And again, you can get it on that uh, uh, website, gearbest.com. I have a link in the description below. You can click that and jump over there and pick one up for yourself. Anyway, that is it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. You know anyone who uh, might be interested in one of these or could benefit from having one, then uh, share this with them. You can do that on Google Play, uh, uh, Google Play, on Google Plus, Facebook, email, Twitter, you know, all those ways. They're all down there. Same as always. Check out my channel. I have over a hundred different product reviews, lots of electronics and gadgets, but also household products and even a separate dog product review playlist. You may want to check that out if you have a free friend. And if you have an Android phone, check out my Android app reviews. I review a lot of apps, no games, just apps that help make your phone better. Anyway, that is going to be it until next time. So have a great day.